welcome to our brand new video series on android we call it as android classroom now you will ask one question why android classroom you named it because we have observed or we have experienced that the classroom training is a most effective way of the learning with this consideration we came up with the brand new fusion approach kind of fusion of code casts or the screen recordings plus the classroom means candidates are sitting in the classroom we are delivering content to them and meanwhile we are recording the sessions that's how we have filmed all these series right so we have tried to maintain the authenticity of the classroom training as much as possible well that's okay now you'll ask me one question what is the most important takeaway from this course well if you ask me about the takeaway first takeaway that you will that you will have is nothing but your confidence you'd be getting a confidence to building the android apps you can build many android application that might be creating some business that might be helping your family business that might be helping your anything right you can create your own application for your own purpose or you can sell it anything you can do that's absolutely fine well if you want to get the syllabus here is the syllabus i have written point wise so first we are going to see in detail what's the history in that we are going to see what is a mobile os what is the need of android and what is the difference with other many things like this we are going to see over here kind of comparison you can say after that we are going to see what's the core architecture how android is built right here we are going to get little bit overview of, about the linux then we are going to see how linux kernel has been used in the android we are going to see that right how exactly all these things work that has been covered in the second chapter right then third chapter comes then the third chapter comes for making your environment means if you want to learn the android application development it is a very important to make your system ready what are the requirements what are the software requirements what are the hardware requirements everything has been cleared over here then fourth chapter is actual development of the android it's actual development means what actual development means we are going to write hello world application then we are going to understand what's the manifest file then we are going to see how to run the application on the device and the emulator many things we are going to see over here okay then android's technical view how and exactly android works what are the different different components how communication happens all that things are going to be covered in the fifth chapter then there is something called as android ui framework along with the basic ui we are going to see some advanced ui over here how to build some advanced components or ad advanced communications between two activities how one activity is communicating with the another activities how to build the ui using the code and the xml in detail you would be getting to know in the sixth chapter then seventh chapter is going to explain you about the adapter views about the animation about the compound views and many more things has been covered in the seven chapter right then there comes something called as fragment very important if you want to create a multi pane ui fragments are very important fragments are there for the reusability so in detail fragments are covered in the eighth chapter well nine nine chapter comes with the notification android comes in the three types of notification toast status status bar and the dialogues so we have covered all that things in detail over here then 10th chapter comes which is nothing but the assets and the resources on the assets on the resources how assets are different to the resources and what exactly mean by the resources what exactly mean by the asset that has been covered over here then complementary topic for assets and resources is styles and themes so styles and themes how to create a custom styles what is the inheritance between the styles what are the different different styles and how styles are used as themes that we have seen over here well after that there comes intent intent filters and the broadcast receivers well this is your second active android component that we have covered over here right in detail chapter is this little bit lengthier one after that there comes the storage and the sharing the data means sqlite here in detail we have covered how sqlite will work 
what are the content provides what are the crude operations even what is the internal storage what is the external storage shared preferences all that things storage related things are covered over here then there comes services then there comes what services what exactly you mean by the services what is the background what is the ai ideal and many other things has been covered over here in the services chapter after that we jump to the material design google has given a classical guideline for the designers and google has given you one library which is nothing but the design and what's that library that we can see in the material design it's more over the ui related then there comes the multimedia how to play audios how to play videos how to embed them in a service how how you can create your own media player all that things has been covered in the multimedia chapter you can see that okay then there comes the web services what do you mean by web services we are going to start what do you mean by web services then we are going to see what is the json parsing what are the different different clients that you can use most probably we are going to use the voli in this chapter we have already created or we have already filmed the topic on this you can see okay then there come location based services how location based services work how you can get your current location how can you can get some nearby and other things all that things has been covered over here okay then sensors what are the different different sensors are there how that sensors are working how you can use that sensors everything has been covered in the chapter 19 that is nothing but the sensor well we have jumped to the bluetooth now how bluetooth works how to connect with another devices how to fetch the already connected or bonded devices list how to communicate with the remote device right how to scan in detail we have covered in the chapter number 20 right then there comes the camera how camera works right most of the things we have covered at the time of intent how camera works how how you can create your own camera and other things has been covered in the 21 chapter then there comes the wifi how how you are going to communicate with the wifi how you are going to what you can say how you are going to connect to the wifi how you are going to disconnect and all other things has been covered in the chapter number 22 there is nothing but the wifi now there comes the telephony services now there comes the telephony services which is nothing but the sms then making calls the network information right other things related to the telephony right we have covered over here now advanced topic fragments we already have seen but still some of the back stack management related things we are going to see then 3d maps we are going to see how gcm works now nowadays gcm is not there but there is a fcm how ga library will work we are going to get overview of all that and the last chapter is of the deployment how exactly deployment works we can cover that also right i hope you will enjoy i hope you will enjoy this session you will love this session thanks a lot and i'm giving i'm saying thanks in advance before the subscription thanks a lot